I was listening to that the WF Kumuyi and um, you know during the GCK global crusade that was held in Ondo State. Then on the last day I was on the program and uh, that was he was explaining he was just preaching and as he was preaching he made mention of a certain scripture and as he began to you know discuss the scripture the Holy Ghost now took me further into the reality of what he was saying so as he was speaking the Holy Ghost now said let me show you what my servant was saying so immediately the Holy Ghost took me deeper into the scripture. I began to shout because I knew I got a key. And it was, you know, this it is this same key now that I want to share with you. I believe that laying hold on this key will be a blessing to your life. Now, uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 4. The Bible says, where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? Now, there's a mystery here that every child of God must see in order to channel the power of God into, you know, into specific areas of their lives. Now, the Bible says, where the word of the king is, there is power. Now, and God is the king. He is not just a king, he is the king, which means he is the king of kings. And the scripture here reveals that wherever the word of the king is, there is power. Now, what is the word of the king? The word of the king is the word of the law, the scriptures. That means whichever area in your body you desire to see the power of God, the first thing to do to such areas is to channel the word of the Lord to them. Why? Because wherever the word of the Lord is, there is power. So if I want power to dwell in me, then I will learn how to put the scriptures, which is the word of the Lord, in me so wherever the scripture is wherever the word of the king is there is power are you getting it now so how to get power is to put in yourself uh, the word of the lord is to allow the word of god dwell in you richly are you there so you you cannot get the true power except if Someone will just go to, you know, you know, to the devil to get power. But if you must walk with the power of God, then you must learn how to lay hold on the word of God. The word of God comes first before the manifestations of his power. So, so if I have cancer in my body, what do I do? The first thing I need to do is to bring the word of the Lord to the body. As soon as the word of the Lord enters into the body, that word will generate power in the body and that power will eat up the cancer. So whatever I want God to do for me, I must embrace his word in that direction because by bringing his word to that direction, power will be generated. And when power is generated, that problem becomes solved. Somebody is getting a key now. Somebody is getting a key. Somebody's eyes is being opened to the the, 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 the kingdom means of generating the power of God. That's why you see that uh, most of the men of God we have, we first, you know, introduce the word of God. Now, after the message, then they now begin to minister to the sick. Why? It is because wherever the word of the king is, there is power. So if I want God to manifest his power in my ministry, then I must ensure that my ministry is rooted in the word of God. Because wherever the word of God is, there is power. So if I want to, if I want to generate the power of God in my heart, in my spirit, in my soul, what do I do? I will bring God's word to my heart, to my spirit, to my soul. And as I do that, power will be generated i pray the lord will help us even to make use to make an effective use of this revelation in the name 
of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it. 